last lesson we did derivatives. And do you remember this question? So we found the unit tangent vector. So we found the derivative, the rate of change or the gradient, and subbed in t equals zero. Yeah? So if this was tech active, you could do it like this. Are you ready? So instead of finding the derivative, I know that's pretty easy to find the derivative. You could go into your calculator, right? Go shift mi minus. Brings up this. Okay, it's in terms of t, right? So let's go back. It's we want to do the derivative of let's just do the i, right? 3e 3t. 3 is it just regular e on the calculator? You can do the special one or you can just type in exp. Okay, so it's going to find the derivative of 3 e to the power of 3t, right? But it can't do just regular derivatives on the normal calculator. You need the CAS to do normal derivatives. It can only do a derivative at a point. So you're subbing in a number for t. What does the question say we use t? t equals zero. So this is the bit which you might not... Click control. See the equals button? And you select this vertical line, right? And then you type in the point, t equals zero. Okay, you press enter, and it gives you the derivative. Yep, so one derivative at a point, so then you can sub in It's probably a bit faster than typing control equals. Either way, you get to this point, you type in this. I'm just going to cheat. Control C. Okay, so just a little trick if you've got a tech active question.